chicken. Yeah, you see? Look at that. All right, as always, I do like to a, remove my starting soon thing. Nice. And uh, I like to talk about the ship, what, it's, what's, what it does well and what it does badly. So the Rock B is, I'd say, is a below average ship. We do store with shields, level two engines, level two oxygen, three power and weapons with a heavy pierce one that deals two damage through a single shield, as well as the trusty firebomb. We have a med bay, piloting, and sensors. We have a crew of four rocks. So rocks are pretty interesting because they are immune to fire and have 150 health, but they move at half speed. They actually also have, I recently found out, they have a bonus on putting out fires. It's not as good as NGs, but they actually do have the ability to put out fires a little bit faster. As I said, so we have this heavy pierce. Uh, which deals two damage through one or zero shields. So it doesn't... I don't, actually am not aware if it has the same high um, secondary effect chances as a regular heavy laser. Um, you know, it's like 30% chance of fire, 30% chance to cause a breach, and 10% chance of causing uh, a stun. Uh, the firebomb, which will deal, you know, 30 crew damage, also starts fires, enables crew kills, and we have rock plating, which we're probably going to sell. So what's nice is we do have three points in weapons, which is good. We have a weapon that is capable of doing damage through a single shield. Um, and we do have four crew. The problem start is our weapons are kind of awkward. Uh, heavy pierce is not something you really build around. And rushing to get four power so they have both these weapons online at the same time is a bit dubious. The other problem is, is we have no door system. That means intruders are able to move wherever they want to about the ship. Uh, and as I said, these rock crew members are very slow in their movement. It's very possible for Mantis to easily swarm a member of our crew and kind of kill them outright. Which is always bad. Uh, yeah, so that's sort of the ins and outs of this ship. The data you carry is vital to the remaining Federation fleet. You'll need supplies for the journey, so make sure to explore each sector before moving on to the next. But get to the exit before the pursuing Rebel fleet can catch up. Alright, so we start with a heavy pierce. Um, trying to take enemy ships out with the firebombs only is not really a great strategy. We're going to put them on our four systems. Typically, we'd man doors over shields, but we um, we don't have a door system. Now, we actually aren't... I'm not opposed at picking up a crew early, even though we already have four crew and don't, quote-unquote, have a use for them, just to have somebody that moves fast. Um, one, it can help to do with repairs or just help fend off borders. Both of those are really good things to have. Now, we're still going to prioritize getting up our shields uh, so that we have level 2 shields. Makes fights a lot safer for us, so that's 20 scrap to get a buffer point and then 30 to get it fully online. Ooh, the Insta Store. Curious. Well, we do have rock plating which we can sell. And maybe we sell other stuff? I don't know. Is it worth going to here just for the rock plating? Yeah. It might be. Let's find out. Alright. Teleporter hacking crew long range scanners. I got my 40 scrap. Ah, so long range scanners are interesting, right? I mean, they show us where sh fights are, um, but I'm I'm going to prioritize actually getting my shield online here and just be happy with a 40 scrap jump, and that we're that much closer to getting our second shield online. We just need 10 more scrap. Let's go to this distress. Now, rock crews do have the second amount most amount of blue options, which is really nice. Hail and offer assistance. Uh, we're at full hull. We'll go ahead and try and help them out. So we took one damage to our hull for four fuel and 22 scrap. That is very worth. And we'll put out these fires. Again, we are immune to fire, so that's not a problem. We can buy our second shield, though. And we already got it online. Two jumps in. 
So that's that's pretty strong safety wise. Okay, now really have to be cognizant of, you know, checking our jumps. So we're not stuck diving in sector one. Uh we could bounce around the nebula, unfortunately. I don't know, like, we don't have a clone bay, which has some blue options. Level 2 piloting also has some blue options. I don't think we can get the rock escort mission. It was really nice. Um, I don't have any drone parts, sorry. So now we can think, like I said, about trying to get the firebomb online. Okay, so we do see they have a missile and a basic laser. So this is easily, it's going to be a heavy pierce into their weapon system. This could be an Artemis, two damage missile, which is, that would not be good. Because uh, that could potentially hit us in the weapons and take those offline. I don't care about shields here. I'm just going to move this crew member down to the weapons to get that repair. If that is the problem. Okay, it's only Alito. Nice, we did get the breach. Um, because we got the breach, let's actually go firebomb. It is a little bit risky because these rebel ships might want to run away. Oh, that's a pretty bad miss. Okay, and they got that weapon online. See, this is why... That miss? Oh, they didn't even have anybody on engines and they got that miss in. The double miss is pretty disgusting. Not gonna lie. That's pretty punishing. Um, this is sort of the problem being reliant on a single weapon. Uh, okay, we've now missed 75% of our shots. This is gonna hit. Okay, well, we're not gonna try to do crew kill stuff, I guess. You only had level 2 engines and you dodged 75% of my shots. That's disgusting. Uh... That is too low of a reward to be interested in here. We're looking for at least in the teens or 20s. I don't really care about missiles. We have plenty of them right now. And no. I sort of went scrap so we can go the uh, twofer. <sighs> All right, well, this should finish him off. 17 scrap. That is better. Okay, we will heal up. It is 35 scrap to get our firebomb online. Firebomb actually does have a, a red option. Well, it, it it is recognized as crew kills, I do believe, because there's uh, like one thing, there is an op uh, a mission where hey, give a kick. That's what it looks like. Oh, I should have totally got my second shield up before we jumped. All right, well, we can't take damage from their weapons per se, but they can't have our shields down and start fires, which is a bad time. What's P? Oh, what's up? Oh, well, we just started. We haven't played FTL in a while. Um, we're not gonna try for a crew kill here. Uh, just because I don't want to deal with fires, even though we're immune to it. Oh, <laughs> plus they have an NG and a rock. Yeah, we're really not doing crew kills. In fact, let's try and run from this fight as fast as we can. Taking down their shield means that they're exposed to the fire. So how solar flares work is that if we have a shield bubble up, it can start upwards of two fires and do a whole damage. If your shields are down, it can do two whole damage and start up to five fires. 
they're about to have a very bad time. Or be dead. Okay, so this is a problem. We're going to start uh, weapons. Start scanning the ship looking for fire since I don't have sensors online right now. Oh, there it is. There's the second fire. Um, okay, so our jump is ready. Want that fire out before it spreads. How are you doing? Uh, we cannot do improvements while we're here, so we'll jump to this nebula point. Uh, eight, eight fuel for three missiles. Yes. We, we will use fuel. Boy, are we going to use fuel. One, two, three... Intruders on board. All right. Uh, let's turn the med bay on. Let's see what kind of intruders. Looks like they're in the oxygen. Hopefully, we have some fighting in the med bay. This is where having slow crew. All right. We're at 121 health. 150 to 90. You should be totally fine. Kind of disgusting to get boarded by four people in Sector 1. Uh, luckily, our crew members have more than enough health. Oh, that's a... Oh, you're running over here. Okay. Uh, now we get to have the fun, arduous process of healing up from damage. Oh no, I'm sorry. Like, would lowering the uh, video bitrate help? I have no idea. Because honestly, I had it. Oh, what was that? Why did that thing slide? Uh, I had it much higher for uh, Mass Effect 3 then I need for FTL. <laughs> Settings, output... Oh no. Let's just put them in there. And heal them up. So, I don't know how exactly I feel about this Sector 1. So, we got 40 scrap from selling our plating. Then we really haven't done much since then. We've had only a handful of fights. Sector 1 is easily the most important sector in the game. I mean, having a really strong Sector 1 can carry you throughout the rest of the run. Uh, it is the hardest sector in the game because any little flaw you have in your ship... Um, sort of is exposed. Well, this is interesting. Uh, this is... Hexcel's interesting, I think. We can totally train against two heavy laser ones. Where are you? Do I still have Hexcel's somewhere? Alright, don't tell anyone. Technically FTL, but secretly we're going to be doing some hex cells. Today's date. 
All right, so what we're doing here, and actually I should probably explain why this is a uh, training ship here. So they have two weapons that are firing every nine seconds. Yeah, they have two weapons that are firing every nine seconds. We have two shields up. So this is easily the best training ship we can come across in this sector. We cannot take any damage. The projectiles will come very fast, so it doesn't take too long. And uh, yeah, so what this is going to give us is extra evasion. Also give us a little bit of shield training, which is kind of nice as well, perhaps. All right, let's go. Oh, right, we have to actually turn back on the hex cells. Ah, uh, four connected. Oh, that's, all right, I have to remember which keys are which. Blue is this button, good enough. One, two, three, and four, blue. We get to listen to some chill FTL music as well while we're at it. Two, three, four, off, off. Four, off. One, two, three. Four here. Takes care of that. Ah, so you need that. Three, one, two, and three. Have the eight. One, two, three, five, six. One, two, three, five, six, eight. Everything. Pretty easy for that one. Uh, this happy two is taken care of. One is taken care of. Two is taken care of. Three, one, two, and happy little three. And one. For the five. One, four, five, we don't know. Four. One, two, three, and four. Off, off. Uh, let's see. What else have I been up to? So I've been playing uh, Invisible Ink, and it feels like it's a harder version of FTL. The learning curve is really steep. I've definitely made just. Like, I feel like there's some things that either I wasn't paying attention to or could have been explained better. So it's like a stealth espionage game. One, two, three, four. Where you kind of have these, it's turn-based, but you move uh, via a grid to procedurally generated rooms. Two, well, that's four. But like, I feel I've made some mistakes because of things like uh, your characters have augments. And I was like, oh, so I bought some augments to put on my characters and I realized uh, I don't have the slots for them, nor can I swap out augments, which I had no idea about that, so I was like, oh, I might not have spent that money on them. One, two, and three. Three there. Uh, one of their... Likely... What else do we have? Three, three, no info. One, two, and three. No info here. Four, we only have three on ten. One, two, seven, ten. No. Well, we do have this four, though. Two, three, and four. Uh, those are connected. So I'm still trying to get that under my belt. It's also like very easy to sort of miss rooms because there's a it's tightly packed with these, you know, has sort of translucent walls. So I definitely find it very challenging. Uh, I haven't even cleared on easy yet because I've done a couple resets. Ooh, how are we doing training wise? All right, well, we are level one engines and piloting. And level one in shields. Nice. Getting there. Uh, let's see. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No. Six is taken care of. Five, six, seven, nine. Not enough information. Six, one, two, four. Oh, no. Oh, the two. He was happy. No, that's 
No information at all. Good. Good. One. Huh. Oh, this two. One and two. Okay. Two's happy. We always like our twos happy. We like everything happy. Two, two, so no. Yes and yes. One, two, three, no. One, two, yes. So four, five, and six means the six is, is taken care of. Uh, two is happy. Four taken care of. Two, no. All right, we know one of these is one, so that means these are not. They can't be touching. Got that. One, two, and three taken care of. No. Not enough information currently. Uh, five, six, seven, eight. Only one here. Two, five, six, one there. One is taken care of, so you're a no. Yes, yes. Gives me the three. No, no. One, two, one, two. No. That's done, that's done. Four, one, two. No. Off. Off. Uh, you're blue and you're blue. That three is now taken care of. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, and blue is seven. Ten, one, two, five, six, seven, eight, nine, so one of these is blue for ten. I'm gonna double check my math. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one. One, two, four, five, six, seven. Oh, we're good on the seven. That makes it a little bit easier. Don't remember this, but, uh, we're actually, we're, uh, we're secretly, not so secretly playing FTL, we're training. Don't tell my bosses. Uh, that's taken care of, that is taken care of. He's so advanced in the future. This would be, that would actually be kind of amazing. Like your hacky mini games take you two minutes of filling this out. Uh, all right, so we know one is here, and we have two remaining. So this one's blue, which takes care of the three. You're a no, and you're the yes. All right, seven minutes of hex cells. Let's see where we are training wise. So how are you doing, K Marxis? Oh, we're we're getting there. Four shots, 24% evasion. Also almost trained up on shields as well. Super tempted to go for a uh, crew kill here. Two, three, we actually do have four power bars. All right, we're shield trained. Come on, just three more dodges, right? Two more. I mean, the ability to train up in Sector 1 with this ship, that's like any advantage we can get. That's a bad time. That is a supremely bad time. All right, so they have one, two, three, four, five whole remaining four systems. I don't think they can put that fire out. 
they put the fire out. They're like, you have no idea what you're even talking about. Seen any good movies lately? Uh, I did go see Incredibles 2. Good. I also watched uh, Hell or High Water, which wasn't bad. I just like it that uh, Jeff Bridges is now just always going to be like old Jeff Bridges. Six missiles. Hmm, no thank you. I think we lost our crew kill here, unless we start wasting firebombs. It's going to take like two or three firebombs to get a crew kill here. still have two crew left. Uh, they're in piloting? And they... Wow, they fixed the O2 again. No, no, jeez. Good on you. You're really good with repairs. 15 scrap. Alright, I'm gonna buy a power bar here. Let's go with level 2 oxygen, get back up to full. It is kind of the nice thing about having the O2 system is we're turning it off, uh, you know, for weapon purposes or getting us a little bit of power. It quickly replenishes itself. Well, let's go fight some fights. Okay, well, your ship is very scary. You have a burst laser and a heavy laser. I will attack the slaver scum. If we can do two damage to their weapon system, it does force the burst offline, and then we are safe. Uh, what kind of ship are we dealing with? A mantis and a human. Let's see if we are able to take their weapons offline here. Okay. So the human's gonna be doing those repairs, unfortunately. Mantis is bad at repairs. Let's help them out. They're going to give me a human. We're actually going to take the human. Again, that gives us somebody who moves at normal speed and help with repairs. Um, it's pretty nice. Or we can hold on and try for a crew kill, which is going to probably cost me more bombs. They can't shoot them to death. All right, we'll take Liam. Liam can go to sensors. I mean, just to, you know, put Liam in shields. Let's move him to weapons. To, like, help out with a repair or a boarding situation. Yeah. And now we're one, two, three, four, five, six. That's no good. Just having that a little bit of speed. Uh, unfortunately, human only gives us one blue option. So that's not amazing. But uh, no, like uh, Incredibles 2, I really liked it. Went with my uh, brother, his wife, and kids. Uh, they enjoyed it. Uh, there were a lot of family elements. Uh, let's totally defend an outpost here. Okay, you have cloaking, but it looks like they have a basic laser and... Was that a mini beam? Oh, no. Sorry, basic laser and ion weapon. So this ship cannot harm us, and it's not going to run away. Uh, so let's see if we can take out its cloaking with our first shot. Kind of speed the fight up. And then we can go hit piloting, because we... Ignoring their shields with our piercing one. So FYI, these systems are considered to have the man crew bonus. That's why if you take this ship down to level one piloting, it's still able to dodge. Space is going well, Riot. How are you? Double rewards. Nice. 
this point, yeah, I think we are going to start doing some uh, scrap collecting. To the exit. All right, we have one human and four rocks. Uh, fend for yourself. Attack and escape. Oh, you have a missile. Oh, you have hacking. Wow, you have lots of stuff. Mm. Down in weapons and a drone. Well, this ship is utterly disgusting. Okay, at least they hacked us in the med bay. That's moderately decent. I mean, if they hacked us in the shields or weapons, we are in a ton of trouble. I feel like being punished. No. Why should you be punished? So I'm going to assume this is a Lado, not a three-weapon system. Like, how did they afford this all in Sector 1, hmm? How? Like, I can't put my firebomb online here. Like, I need the evasion. Please hit, please hit. Bad miss. This is disgusting. So, when we say, like, why sh runs end in Sector 1, this is an absolutely devastating ship. I mean, again, we're lucky it hacked us here and not some relevant system, but it has this additional offensive system, more of, like, a rigor, that it has this. I mean, this actually can deal damage through two shields, which makes it rare, plus a missile on top of it. Like, if this hacks a relevant system, the missile hits through our shield, starts a fire there, we could just be dead. Alright, that makes me feel a little bit better. I guess we could try and also take down the drone. Alright, and drop drop firebomb online just as a backup weapon. see if I need to turn on my evasion. I do not. They're offering me five fuel, which is a lot of fuel, two drone parts, and eight scrap. Um, It's going to take me two more shots to potentially kill them here. I have plenty of fuel. I want more uh, scrap. Greedy. Okay, you're at 100 health. You're at 40... Honestly, like, getting crew kills, even with the firebomb, is fairly tricky business. Because they'll just, they'll heal, they'll run away at some point, right, uh, from the fire damage, and then we have to try and chase them down. Figuratively. 15 scrap. Okay. Uh, well, if Riot wishes to be human, Riot human will be. Welcome aboard, Riot. Alright. Uh, so let's see. How is our Sector 1? Uh, we have 40 scrap here, plus the 40 scrap we got for selling our augment, so that was 80. Uh, we spent 50, 35, so we spent 85, 95 plus 40. Okay, so about 135, not bad. Not bad. Oh, wait, minus. So that's our 40 scrap. Sorry, let's math that out again. That is essentially what we got for selling our augment. So we did 50, the human, uh, riot. And 25 power. 75 scrap sector 1. Plus 70, 35. 110. Eh. Yeah, 110 alright. Uncharted and LBR rock controlled. Uh. Well, that's tempting. Like, if we were going a score run, look at all that glorious red. We're gonna go rock controlled, though. I mean, we have rocks. Let's use them. Okay. How many jumps can we take before we get to that store? And is there a point across? There is. Want to map our sectors? 
Let's try and do like one, two, three, four, five. I don't think we will. Let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine. Boy, I am very uncomfortable with this. Ship is rock controlled. What could possibly go wrong? Actually, I can't remember if it's only Rock Homeworld, but there is an event where we have a 50-50 chance of just losing a crew member, unless you have, like, level 6 engines, which we don't. Nor do we have a clone bay to bring him back. Yeah, I really don't see a scenario. Like, this is really sketch. We can go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9... 10. Uh, I guess that's about normal sector layout. I mean, but we could easily be diving. So if I had a fleet pursuit indicator, I would know 100% whether I have exactly 10 jumps or not, and there's no problem. But because I don't, like, I actually do have this issue in determining. Like, maybe the Federation starts down here and I know I'm safe, but like I said, I don't in this scenario. I think we're gonna have to pass up the store right now. Oh, well, empty jump makes it even less likely we go to the store. Okay, we are going to aid the civilian ships. All oh, right, so I, f I forgot to mention, we're in Sector 2 now. So we'll essentially see the exact same difficulty of ships, enemy ships, that we saw in Sector 1. Most of them will only have a single shield. Um, like, there's a slug, light fighter, or rebel elites that can have two shields, provided we're not diving. Um... So typically, if you make it through Sector 1, you should make it through Sector 2, Defense 1. So this ship cannot hurt us. Uh, the Rock crew member makes it difficult to actually do a crew kill, though. Unless, like, we smash the O2, this person comes in to try and put it out, and then we set it on fire. Wow, that's a bad dodge. All right, well, breach is there. At least cause them issue. Okay, they do have the repair. So they should put out that fire relatively quickly because there is no O2, but it prevents them from doing the repair as well. We're just trying to get them on low enough health. Okay, uh, so we do get our crew kill then. Bonus rewards. So we got really lucky. We hit the O2 and we caused a breach. Uh, so that made it fairly difficult to repair. They don't have an NG. Uh, their drone system doesn't come with a repair bot. So we don't have to waste any more resources here. And we get the bonus of performing a crew kill or bio kill. 23 scrap, refuel, and a drone. Contact the civilians, get five hull repair. All right, well, that's like 15 scrap in this sector. And, okay, so... We'll go here, and then we'll see if the math works out on that store or not. Uh, yes. One, two. I don't even know if that's two. That's that's too close. Too close. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, six. Okay, hey, you cannot kill us. Neat. So they have a heavy ion and heavy laser one. Um, so kind of the funny thing about FTL 
Uh, if you're not familiar with it, the fights themselves are kind of academic. Like you'll you'll be able to figure out how to kill ships or not, uh, barring you know going for crew kill stuff. Uh, essentially, we're going to try and do the same thing here with the O2 system. Um, once you can read that the ship is safe, it's really about how to spend scrap, when to spend scrap, and being prepared for the likely ships of a sector. That's a gross miss. We can start a fire there, or we get that O2 breach. I mean, there's a chance we can get a crew kill here. There's our breach. Alright, and that's going to make it difficult for them to get that repair. Oh, we got the fire. We got the fire. We're good. And Captain's Edition, they have a breach. They have a lot of crazy things in Captain's Edition. I mean, that's uh, pretty good for enabling crew kills. Uh, we didn't even need to train on that other ship. We could actually no train on this ship is pretty bad. Uh, the ion once it hits our shields, um, not a stun. And actually, no, it would have been fine as a training ship for the same deal. But if we get stunned and we're off the system, when it gets ioned, then we don't get that shield training. So we spent two bombs to get a crew kill there. Six fuel and 20 scrap. Well, that is, that is an abundance of fuel. Okay, 83 scrap also buys us pretty much any solid weapon in the game. Because we do start having this concern, right? Next sector, right? We're talking about how, you know, spending scrap and whatnot. Next sector is two shielded ships, and we have a problem. Our heavy pierce does absolutely nothing. So we are in a really dangerous situation here. Okay, I only need one shield bubble. Triple rock borders. Huh. Okay, that is really not good. I'm gonna send you out, you there, you back. Send you to heal, I think. We have to be very careful, like this missile could end us, like it hits everybody and we take just an absurd amount of damage. Like that. Uh, let's see, riot, swamps. Okay, nobody t would have died. Okay, so since the missile's offline, we don't need piloting. Our shields are good. Okay, you go out of the room. You go out of the room, and we're gonna swap in the room. It's gonna bring back on online our oxygen. Those are cool like that. I like it if our crew can breathe. Hello, dragon. How are you? What weapons is the best for breaching in vanilla breach bomb? Uh, breach bomb, I think, is 100% chance. Breach two also is like 100% chance. I think the breach missile is only actually 80. And, uh... My game is still listed. It didn't update it? No. Come on. I updated it twice to make sure that it didn't do that. Games, go to casting, Twitch dashboard, pause while I get this rectified. Doing that thing again. Okay, game, FTL. Update information. Updating gives me a check mark. 
So hopefully it takes this time. Um, are we now winning these fights? I don't have to be concerned about it. 109, high health. Should be okay. It's okay to hit this weapons again. All right. So actually, again, it's rarely helpful just to have that quick moving human to get into. Okay, uh, everyone who needs healed, go one, two, three. Riot will become pilot for now. Try and hit this again. We're not gonna do any crew kill shenanigans here. Um, well, the run is technically it's okay. The problem is, is we're about to become useless. Like our weapon system is about to become not viable for taking out enemy ships, and that's a real big problem. Like, we'll have to start a fire in their shields and hope it takes it offline, set up for a heavy pierce, and that's that's simply not a winning combination. We will die. We desperately need a store. Got second shield up before we jumped. Store. Like, I'd rather dive than not find a store. Uh, hey, Rut. Thank you for being the first to sub. Yeah, no, I did that today. So, um, I guess, uh, Welcome to the murder, most foul. So thank you again. Uh, uh, so Kroka, which will actually have to be renamed, will be at least the first emote slot uh, once it gets approved, and then I'll have to, you know, do like more professional things. Whoa, dragon. Dragon with one, two, three, four, five hundred cupcakes. Thank you. And Scott's hosting me. Hey, Scott. How was, uh, Dagon Ropa solving all the murders? How are you? Exclamation. Host. Scott Onesie Wilson. That ah, command still work. Good, good, good. Glad you're enjoying it. Yeah, we're we're in sector two, but we we haven't found a store. Well, we found a store, then I didn't go to the store, and now we're in trouble. Hey, Cogwizzle, thank you for the follow. <laughs> so, oh, hey, there's that's a, a fire. Probably should put the fire out. Anytime. I'm not gonna try for a crew kill or anything just because they also have a clone bay. Alright, so we have scrap. Uh, I just don't have weapons that can consistently crack level two shields. That is going to be a problem. Hey, the Marcher, thank you for the follow as well. Two. All right, we know that's not a store and we know that's not a store. So we have to kind of bank that this is our store. 
Oh, nice. Uh, I only have a one, because Stealth B is Stealth B. Uh, one, two, three. This really needs to be a store. And it needs to have a weapon. One isn't a streak. It's the start of a streak. Uh, two fuel for two drone parts. Sure. So bad. This is really bad. Um... Wing <laughs> 5 is not a streak. It's the idea. It's the hope of a streak. Go ahead, sell three drone parts just for some additional scrap. And next sector. Uncharted Nebula or Uncharted Nebula? Well, I'll take this for options. Please have a store first jump. Okay. Please have a weapon. Please let it be good. Or hacking. Or boarding. I got nothing. Drone control, backup battery, and crew. Hmm. It's another store? No. All right. Uh. Throw doors at enemy ship. Yeah. I mean, like, boarding, we could perhaps do that. Like, it's not a bad boarding ship. Um. Huh. Cup of tea, then close the doors in on them. Yeah. I mean, that's not going to help. That doesn't help. And I have... Four drones. That's really rough. Okay, so let's. We, we really we just have to hunt for a store, or maybe we get lucky and the ships are bad. Like, this is death. Wow, like this is the thing we need to not come across is an auto scout because our fire, our weapons do nothing. Oh good, they're running. That's a positive. So when we talk about like RNG elements of uh, FTL, I'm very much a big proponent of all stores should be two pages because bad weapons or no weapon RNG is just disgustingly unfair to players. All right, where's the missile going? Whatever. Can you just please run away? Just, just run away. Don't fire the missile, just jump. Do I lose two jumps? Yeah, yeah, I know there's the nerf hacking people because they don't like it consistently winning, I guess. Is that the thing? Is nerf hacking like nerf guns? No, it is not. So hacking is an incredibly powerful system. Like, we have found hacking, we would have been okay. But because we found drone control, which is defensive drone control is garbage, defensive drone control wouldn't have helped us, and a bunch of other things we didn't need. And because it was only, like, one single page store, um, like, that's, it's not going to cut it. There are things we could have found that might have helped this run. So what we have to do, essentially, is... All right, we're going to go level three 
Uh, 90 scrap still buys us weapons, plus we can sell things. Uh, attack the ship. Uh, attempt to be concealed. Again, this is a ship we probably can't hurt. We're just going to lose because we couldn't find a weapon. I mean, maybe that turns around very, very quickly. It'd be nice if we got the uh, the blue option, like the repugnant option, and let them out. Um, like, all right. Well, I have a chance against this ship because it's Mantis. Not a great chance. But I can't just keep not doing stuff. This is probably an terribly, terrible, terrible idea. Like, if they have an NG, which they probably do, they're going to put that fire out before it gets low enough that I can... All right, do I hit shields or do I hit them in weapons? Okay, a little bit safer. Safer. Power. Uh huh. Okay, well, the shield system is now totally down. We did a run today where the last four sectors were all red. One sort of sector had to be flagship without hacking. Oh, yeah. Well, but you had what? First laser, two, flak one, whole beam, heavy laser one. I mean, that's, at least that's weapons. And you got Artie. Everyone can win with Artie. Two, three. Oh. Technically, this is something we are looking for. All right, where was I boarded? Uh, they're moving away into my piloting. Okay, so that's kind of all right. So their piloting is down. Doing two damage to their weapons doesn't actually take this weapon offline. Okay. Oh, I didn't even put out my dodge. I'm sure that's not on fire. My problem is, is A, is them trying to run, or B, them putting their shield online. Or putting this weapon online. Okay, well, we pulled the pilot, so that lets me think that they only had the crew of three. One to board, and two doing the repairs. Well, we can try and dodge. We do have 25% evasion. Didn't hit a vital system. Fire is really good. Again, I'm not surprised it didn't take it down. We didn't think it was going to do that.
Well, I'm also potentially concerned of them running away. Uh, no, I'm not taking surrender here. Should have them now. Oh, you're brave. Or, well, the idea is if... Yeah, I guess I was thinking that they might shift their power to two shield bubbles, and that would be the problem. Can always miss. I think you as, know as well as anyone about the uh, only firing with one... Uh, one weapon. Get in there. Get heals. All right, well, maybe we find a store. Right. Store. Uh, we can totally start running into three shielded ships. Stay hidden or prepare to chase them. <sighs> Stay hidden. So if they have like a repair bot, there's no chance I'm taking that two shields down. I just need a store. Like this is lame. Like uh, all the skill, all the knowledge I have in FTL boils down to not finding a store. That's it. None of it matters, because stores just don't have... <sighs> Investigate, take them home, I'll take some money. And this jump will be empty. Okay, I think we have a green sector coming up. NG Home Worlds. Wish I could have seen... Sector 1, we went to the first store... Uh, they turned down long-range scanners to get uh, shield online, and then second jump, we did get shield online. There was a jump, uh, there was like a store in Sector 2 right off the bat, uh, but going to it, I wasn't 100% sure that I would be able to make the exit on time. Because I didn't know where the Rebel Fleet Pursuit was, and it was... Like, once I went to the store with, like, enough scrap, because I only had, like, 40, that I could actually buy a weapon. Shield's pretty wrong. Um, I mean, I got to train, and I would... The thing I'm missing is stores that are selling me stuff, and I would have the sensors for it. Considering we... What, we, what did we end up with? Now, we actually had like 110 scrap Sector 1. Sector 1 was fine. It was just that we had one store Sector 2, and I had no idea if I could go to that store or not. Um, yeah, I'll buy five repair, sure. Okay, turn this run around for me, please. I mean, I have to. No doubt I have to. Okay, so we can potentially deal damage through three shields. Huh? That's, that's like a thing. Recharge booster drone recovery arm. Yeah, no, uh, no second page again. Fine on fuel. Alright, we'll just have to see what happens. Don't be a defense two. Okay, uh, never mind. That's gonna shoot down one of our shot. Uh,
So here's the problem. This will shoot down one of our shots, and then we have to perfectly time it that it shoots down one of our chain laser shots, but doesn't shoot down the heavy shots. And that we time it well enough that it doesn't shoot down this shot, but at the same time, we don't have enough of a lag between the shots that it can fire twice, because it can shoot quickly. Plus side, can't... Only has the missile... That charge is slower. That charge is slower. Good thing you got pause. Even with pause. Oh, well, never mind. Never mind, we're running. There's no way. No way. We're not gonna fire a single shot. Oh, good. So much for running. Ah, look at look at all the amazing skill set that I'm using. Oh, good, my shields are on fire. Oh, it's going to go into my piloting and take my evasion offline again. Uh, this is... what is this? Sector 4? Sector 3. Uh, no shops had weapons. We just picked up our first weapon, but we are drastically behind. Wow, they know exactly where to hit us. And that started yet another fire. Like, they keep hitting us in the piloting, so I can't run. That's at least the fourth sh th third or fourth shot to piloting. I gotta dodge. I need repairs. So, we just took a dumb amount of damage. Like, an absolute metric ton of damage. All right, where's the fires? Don't have sensors. My crew moves very, very slow. Okay, I know there's one in my sensors. I just need to make sure that my human doesn't, that ride doesn't move through. Okay, that's a breach. Could you put out the fire, please? Well, there's hard and then there's unfair. Right now, it's just being patently unfair. Like, it's not, I mean, hard is like, oh, you made a mistake and you get punished for it. This is, you haven't had a chance to even get up on your feet and we're punishing you for it. So like we had, our first sector was fine. We just couldn't get weapons. And this is one of the weakest weapon ships. And when we go to a store, they are single pages and they don't have weapons and they didn't have an alternative system. Because it had doors and a backup battery. And drone control. So it was essentially the three worst systems it could have had. Yeah. We'll see. I don't know. NG sector, maybe we find something free floating in space. It gets us back on course. 
Stranger things have happened. <sighs> we'll see. Okay, free stuff, good. Another store. Let's try and see if we can get something before we hit it. Uh, purchase system code. No, attack the NG ship. Heavy Pierce falls off is uh, by sector three, to be perfectly honest. Like, it's just... It's not a viable weapon to build around. Okay, so heavy laser, two ion weapons, and a burst laser, too. Uh huh. I'll try. I, I, I can only say I can try. I can try and sneak it in. Well, there goes my piloting. And there goes my weapon system. Yep, we're dead. Like, I can't, I can't crack this anymore. It's all about, like, I can't do anything. It just feels like there's literally nothing I can ever do. And they got hit in the piloting again. Well, I mean, it's fine for the sector. We just... Sector 3 was pretty much a wash because we didn't have weapons and we couldn't crack two level 2 shields. And now they just have too many projectiles. We're just dead. I mean, even if we survive this fight, we're just going to keep falling further and further behind. So we lost to bad store RNG. There was nothing else I could do. Wow, okay. Well, I guess if I don't get any weapons, I can't win. Two hundred and eighty one scrap collected by sector four. That's two sectors worth of scrap. 